one of the sexiest things about BDSM, and I guess this exists, you know, kind of in in all sex acts, and I guess just really in everything, is power dynamics between men and women, or men and men, and women and men, like, um, and I and I wonder if women, I know for me, I was attracted to that, I think, because of the rigid power dynamics that, I don't know, we've been taught as women yeah. from an early age, and so the idea of exploring that, either giving into that idea of being, I'm submissive as a woman, or flipping it and doing the other side was very interesting to me. Like I remember, so I remember actually my first, my first inkling that I was kind of into this was when I was playing, I think like Cowboys and Indians or something with my friends. <laughs> that is actually when, how Peter figured it out too. Really? I like seeing like the girls tied up. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it was for me um, and I got captured. <laughs> And I got tied up and I got taken to jail. And I remember being excited about that. And then they very quickly untied me and took me out of jail. And I was very upset about that. I was like, no, I need to be in jail longer. You need to put me back in there because I have, I am still going to rob you. I'm trouble. (laughs) And I remember having this excited feel and not understanding it. Yeah. And then later on starting to... To get that, but that was that that first moment, that little inkling. That's yeah, so funny. Yeah, you know, I think that it's sexy. I think for a lot of people because it's actually very considered. Mm. So instead of kind of going along with whatever the power dynamics are in your life with whomever there with your boss, the person sitting next to you on the bus, your partner, mm. you are very cons- you're considering what you want the power dynamics to be, if you want them to shift, if you want to give them to give the power to someone else or take it from someone else. And I think just really thinking through and negotiating that is not a thing people do very often. Mm. And it's sort of exciting to like say, you know what, I want to be the powerful one right now. Mm-hmm. Or I am tired of this power. I just I want to serve someone. I want to do what someone else wants me to do. Yeah. And I'm very thoughtfully going into that. Yeah. I wonder if on some, like, deeper level it makes us kind of consider our place in the world. You know, because we are social creatures with a pecking order and a hierarchy. And Oh, totally. And BDSM allows you to kind of choose where where you are in that order. You don't have to, like— I mean, you have to earn it in the sense that, like, if you want to be a dom, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know yeah. how to hit p- people properly. All that kind of stuff is important. But, you know, you don't have to, like, earn it through climbing some social ladder sure. or kissing someone's ass or, you know what I mean? Having like, advantages in life. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, we don't often get to change our social standing or the power we have right. in life. But even thinking about power as something that is inherent in every interaction. hmm in every relationship is actually kind of, I don't know, it, it's really kind of shifts your perspective. Yeah. And I think a lot of women, I know I've heard a lot that women feel weird about being submissive because they think that's like t- taking on a stereotypical role. Right. But it's what actually turns them on. So just having to think through that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I just, I love the fact that it requires so much thought and, like, mm. really considering things that people just kind of ignore for the most part. Yeah. Day-to-day life, especially around sex. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely considered a lot why I prefer to be submissive in bed, and it has to do exactly with what you touched on earlier. Like, I am in control a lot of the times in my life. Like, I run my own business. I People work for me. I'm constantly giving people direction. I'm constantly having to make decisions. I'm, you know, having to, you know, give people tasks. Like, when it comes to sex, like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. Like, somebody else make those decisions for me. Like, please, I don't want to do that. Like, there's something very freeing about being able to let go. Yeah, and just being someone that you're not or having mm-hmm. having the fantasy or living the fantasy that you're, you know, 
different from the way you are. Right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.